Oh yeah, welcome back to Valley View Live. Time now for another moment of Zenspiration with old school 1057's <laughs> Zen Jadun. Chance to share your struggles with love, romance, and life with a woman who has seen it all. Now oh today's letter is kind of heavy. It is, and it was four pages long when I printed it out originally. Oh. So you know I have to edit it down for the show, but it starts like this. Ladies, I have been dating a married man for the last two years and I'm tired of lying about it to everyone. I know that it's wrong. I met him at work. It began pretty innocently. We, our cubicles are directly across from one another. We would talk to each other. We would eat lunch together. Then we started staying late to work on a couple of projects. One thing led to another. Hmm. He has no intention of leaving his wife. He has been married for 12 years, has three children. We are very discreet, but I fear that coworkers may be noticing. I have been divorced for three years, and I've convinced myself it was temporary, exciting, and that we weren't hurting anyone. I've been fighting depression for the last couple of months and feel like the guilt is killing me. I'm a better person than this. I see him every day, so it's hard to distance myself. What should I do? I think she, That's she should heavy, come clean right? with him because here's the thing. He's probably feeling guilty too, mm -hmm. and he might be having the same thoughts. Like, how do I break up with this woman? Is she going to go, you know, ballistic on me and mm -hmm. make a scene at work? You know, so they both have that in common. Right. So, I, you know. But should I, she come clean with the wife is my Mm. Mm. That's an interesting woman to question. woman. I just think like you know he's doing this. That's a whole different conversation. Mm -hmm. How would you handle it? For her, um, I'm, I'm I read in the letter how much guilt she feels. Mm -hmm. I read how much um, of this she's carrying around. It's heavy. She's done. I think it's played it. She course. admits that. Right. She admits that. So um, first and foremost, I got a couple of quotes about forgiveness. The truth is, unless you let go, unless you forgive, unless you forgive the situation and yourself. Um, the situ um, unless you realize the situation is over, you cannot move forward. Mm -hmm. So first of all, be sure you're done because mm. you are going to see this person every day. And then the second one, life is grace, sleep is forgiveness. Night absolves, darkness wipes the slate clean, not spotless to be sure, but clean enough for another day's talking. So right. she, it sounds like you have to forgive yourself. Yeah. You got to start there. Then you have to be firm in the fact that you were accepting less in this relationship. Mm -hmm. You had to learn something from it. There was a reason why you accepted part of or a section of the love you feel like you deserve. Maybe so. it's karma that she feels guilty and it's finally eating well, away at her because yeah. this is an affair she is having with a married man. And if it's and an affair. we don't know if this man has had many affairs with people in the office. Right. Right? But if right. she's done, she should just woman up and yeah. say, I'm over, we're done. Right, and but you also up. have to deal with the fact that you're looking this man in the face. Well, you have to. And then he's looking at you. Somebody you needs to go. Yeah, you have right. to be, uh, well. <laughs> go jump. And I believe that too. You kind of don't eat where you. <laughs> yeah, right. But, uh, right. but are you going to move where your career is going because of a man? Are you going to let that happen? Or do you make him miserable uh, so that he wants to move? Well, I think so the first step, the first step she did was admitting it, writing right. it sure. down. For, exactly. It's probably been a really secret place for her. She said she can't talk to anybody about it. That's probably friends, girlfriends, because she feels judged. So I would go to church, go to a counselor, reach out, I'm go ahead and get it off here. You. Right. Or come to me. Thank <laughs> you. Um, but yeah, go somewhere and understand it's an ongoing process. You have to let this go and get past that because you're you're worthy of a full relationship. You're right. worthy to be loved yes. in a full capacity and yeah, a loving relationship, a marriage. So yeah. And they could be friends. There are yeah. plenty of people that are friendly yes. with their exes. Right. Yes. You could be it's one a of mistake. them. Right. Yes. Yeah. And maybe you need to remind him of that and, too. It's and a mistake right. on your part too. Yeah. Uh -huh. And just remember how did we get into this situation and don't do it again. And that's where you learn from it. I think she can move on, but I do feel bad for the for the wife involved in the situation because she's yeah. sitting there not knowing. But then well, I, I think sometimes it's it's messy if you you like what she has to know and you're like, well, is that I, her I, responsibility? See, I, I don't, think, I don't, I don't think she should know. get her because this uh, is between uh, yeah. the, the two of them. Right. So why hurt her feelings? She may not know. And right. so that's work, their own. Right. The people at work kind of if, if she they thinks they kind of know, know, they know. Yeah. 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 If they they're looking at each other making goo goo eyes, you know somebody has seen that. Like or seeing them out together, too. Exactly. Back out the way you backed in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With grace. Right. You snuck Just in. You knew what. It sounds like he was 
clear with her what was happening. Yeah, yeah he's not she divorced. She chose yeah. to be there. Right. So I say back out the way you backed in. Put your head down, forgive yourself, <laughs> and keep it moving. And Some have something to say when the, the rest of the, the work environment starts yeah. talking mm -hmm. yeah. because you don't want that. Ooh, right. Thank Lord. you, Senja. Thank you, Thank you guys. <laughs> if you have a situation that may need some Zenspiration assistance, email Zenja at the address on your screen. Be sure to write Zenspiration in the subject line. And be sure to catch Zenja every Monday through Friday morning on Old School 105.7. We'll be right back.